so welcome back here in our previous video we have learnt an introduction to artificial neural network here we are going to learn your next syllabus topic is error back propagation so first of all we should understand what you mean by back propagation okay so this is the way through which you can train neural networks okay so you can say back propagation is the essence of neural net training fine so if uh, it is actually the short form for back propagation of errors so what do i back propagate actually back propagate is the way through which i can train neural network what do i back propagate in this case i'm back propagating errors okay errors are computed accordingly i go back and i manipulate the weights okay so standard method of training artificial neural network it helps to come okay gradient and all we will see further in our example so how does this back propagation works i'll explain you first of all with the help of a diagram how we are going to work for it okay so this is the structure for back propagation this is my input layer input layer this is my hidden layer okay as i said number of hidden layers can be there this is the output layer so I start initially with input layer as in my previous video i have said like if i want to compute the input for this okay so what i have to do i have weights come into picture what about weights so this weights initially they are randomly initialized okay so random weights are there and weight is there with each and every arc each and every arc of my neural network okay so random weights are there with them fine so now if i say about this node and i want to calculate what is input for this node so its input is this multiplied by weight plus this input multiplied by this weight weight for this arc plus this input multiplied by weight for this arc so i will get the value for this and i need to apply the activation function so i get the final value and it will give, uh, applying activation function i'll get the output of this okay now i got the output of this now when i want to compute input for this node when i want to compute input for this node what i'll have to do is the value output of this output of this multiply with this weight plus output of this multiply by this this weight plus output of this node multiply by output uh, by this weight and plus output of this node multiplied by this weight why i am using the word output because i have to apply the activation function and then and then i'll get the output okay so i'll get value for this like in this fashion what i have to do is i have to compute values for each and every node okay let it be the input layer node let it be the hidden layer node i have to compute these values so for the this way i have to continue till i get to output layer now uh, because i had assumed certain weights right i also have know like what kind of output do i want so we assume that i want certain target to be called it as t that is the target which i expect now here i got certain output at this layer this output i have to compare with this target value both are not same there is difference between them that is not possible that they'll be same why because we have initialized random weights so of course there is difference between two using this we have to subtract them and we have to find out the error same at this point we have to find out the error now this error okay is used backward now what is our aim this error should be less as less as possible okay so we have to minimize this error in order to minimize this error we have to propagate this error further okay and we have to update all these weights so in this way we will reach to this hidden so again we will be computing and we will go towards the input layer same fashion will be uh, continuing okay so we are back propagating the output layer to the hidden layer this hidden layer to this hidden layer this hidden layer to the input layer and this is called as back propagation algorithm okay so you can see over here how to calculate the error so actual error minus the uh, actual output minus the desired output this is the actual output which i got and this is the output what i expected okay so i have to travel back in order to do this okay so the algorithm will, uh, this is what i have explained now algorithm i'll read in short initialize weights for parameters we want to train so as i have said weights are going to be random okay so you need to initialize all those arcs with certain weights then we need to forward propagate through the network to get the output values as i said we will be forward propagating and we will be coming to the final output right then we have to find out the error function or error function is also called as cost function okay so and what you have to deal with this is derivatives we have to find derivatives of this okay why derivatives 
we have to our aim is what our aim is to minimize this error function so in order to minimize this we will require derivatives and explain you in example propagate back propagate through the network to determine the error derivatives so we have to back propagate the error derivatives okay so error derivatives like for example if i say e is the error fine so i'll be finding de with respect to first weight that is dw1 suppose i'm having three weights w1 w2 w3 so i'll be finding de with respect to w1 de with respect to w2 de with respect to w3 and so on so whatever are the weights i want to find the error with respect to those weights that is called as error derivative update the parameter estimates using the error derivative and current value so using the them i'm going to update my parameter like initially i had taught w1 uh, with certain value so now my new value will be w1 is e equals to w1 minus i have to subtract certain value from it so all the, uh, this i'll be teaching you in example our next video will be having example here i've just covered theory of it what is the need for back propagation it is simple okay easy to program and for machines it is easy to do operation but for humans it is complicated okay so it has no parameters to tune apart from number of input so it is flexible method okay as it is not having any prior knowledge deal with it fine so it does not need any special attention any special mention of features of functions to be learned so we say that back propagation is simple now it exists in two different ways okay two types of back propagation is there one is static back propagation the other one is dynamic uh, recurrent back propagation static and recurrent ones so what do we have in static in static we just have that uh, it is generally used for static classification problem for example optical classification recognition ocr problems okay over here the mapping between input and output is static okay so mapping of static input for static output okay a recurrent back propagation what will happen is i have to feed forward and further i have to feed back or propagate back the error okay as we have seen previously fine so static ones is rapid mapping is rapid in case of my first one and uh, what is the like second one works with non static data so if data is static go for first one if data is non static go for the second one and generally second one is referred okay it, it works on complicated problems fine so here few key points are given with respect to back propagation which we have already discussed again back propagation uh, is especially used for deep neural network okay so in deep neural network it is working fine so in image recognition and speech recognition it is used what is the problem with respect to back propagation the problem is that the performance of back propagation depends on specific problem is independent on uh, sorry is dependent on input data it depends upon input data okay the actual performance of back propagation on a specific problem is dependent on input data it can be quite sensitive to noisy data and it needs to be used we need to use matrix based approach for back propagation okay so here is summary which we have already covered only one point remained us in 1961 these people okay they had given the concept of continuous back propagation okay what is the problem with it it is uh, difficult for noisy data okay it is sensitive to noisy data and generally it is used in deep neural network okay which are working on error prone projects means the projects in which chances of errors are there so that errors can be back propagated okay such as image recognition speech recognition generally this neural uh, back propagation networks are used okay so in our next video we are going to come with examples over the back propagation okay thank you for now